Hi, Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So once again, Google is now making the early stable release of the Google Chrome web browser available, which I haven't received yet, and that's version 112, like most of you wouldn't have, because as I've posted previously, um, the early stable uh, is only available for a small percentage of users with the majority of um, people getting the release the following week. And this is because Google say they want to monitor the release before it rolls out to all users to obviously iron out any bugs before the official release rolls out the following week. And if we head over to the Chrome platform status, uh, yeah, we can see uh, it rolled out on the 29th of March, uh, which was late yesterday in my region, version 112. And that's the um, early stable release. Now, um, if we just head over to the calendar, just to give you an idea and to put this all into perspective, um, the official release will be rolling out to the general public um, around about the 4th. So that would start the 4th or 5th next week of April 2023. And that's when we can expect that to roll out to the general public. Now, um, um, when this official release does roll out, um, Chrome will be updated to version 112.0.5615.49. And because it hasn't rolled out to the general public at this stage, and is still to some extent in preview, and is an early release, uh, Google has not published the release notes yet. So uh, it, is a, it is not known at this stage exactly what Google will be rolling out uh, with the major version upgrade next week. So um, it's currently unknown what issues um, have been addressed and what features have been introduced. But um, if we have a look at the Chrome platform status, um, I'm just going to go through this quickly um, because there are a couple of features that are listed here, mainly for developers. But just to go through these, um, they've added a scroll end event for a JavaScript event to indicate the end of scrolling by the user, their CSS nesting support to nest CSS style rules inside other style rules, a CSS animation composition property, an explicit tail call and indirect tail call opcodes for WebAssembly, WebGL context event added to web workers and various other updates. Now that's a whole big mouthful and I understand that. But that's basically what we are seeing from the Chrome platform status because, as I have said, the release notes aren't made available as yet. But um, I think, um, in my personal opinion, I do think Chrome version 112, although it will be a version upgrade, won't contain that new, that many new features um, according to the Chrome platform status. So I think most of the kind of... Um, um, new features or the updates will be taking place so-called in the background under the hood and then of course over and above those changes we will be getting uh, the all-important security fixes that do roll out with every version upgrade to Google Chrome so um, just letting you know early stable has rolled out for a small subset of users a week before and that's to Chrome version 112 so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one